Good morning, everyone. My name is Akesh Gupta, and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today, in this presentation, I will share with you how to initialize a field by calculate values based on some other field values. In this particular case, we are taking a use case where we have a make model automobile example, and for every single make, we basically have populated them with their default location. This is a prime example of when we have a a customer which has a customer address and then when we are writing up an order on selection of the customer field on the customer drop-down list we would like the default address to be populated so in this particular example as each make has a default location when we go to create a new automobile record on selection of the make we would like my default location to be populated based on which make I'm selecting so in order to achieve that, what we have to do is we have to basically go to RSP Designer. And this is an example of uh, how we would like the default value of that particular field to be recalculated. In this particular case, we are trying to initialize the field value when we're adding a record. So rather than having a default value, what we would like to do is we would like to Right here, we would like to say get column value, which is basically a new function available in the formula editor, which has a lot of power, where the three parameters it requires are the table name. In this case, it's going to be a make. So our data will be fetched from a make table. Then we would like to have a prime, uh, the uh, key value. In this case, since the make ID is going to be selected, which will force us to go to the make table and get the record, I can right click, go to UI controls and pick make ID. System automatically knows to pick the selected value. And then the third parameter is what field from the make table are we interested? In our case, it's a location. So to summarize, what we are trying to do here is we're trying to say that the default value for this particular text box will be fetched from the location field from the make table where the make ID is equal to what is selected by this make drop-down list. So let's test it to see if it works. So if I go back uh, and try to add a new automobile, I'm going to select the make ID. So when I click on add, as you can see, there is an error, which we will definitely address because at this point, since no make has been selected, system is basically showing you an error message that no record was found, which makes sense. So if I go in and pick uh, Ford here, as you can see, the location automatically defaulted. And if I go in and pick another make, the location has automatically been updated. So this is a prime example where so on selection of one drop-down field, we are trying to default the text values based on the information which was in the parent table. So in this case, one of the other issues now we have, we should think about it, how to make sure that this does not happen when the make ID field is not there. So as you can see, we have an auto record control make ID selected value. It's very easy for us to copy it and put it in an if condition that if selected index is greater than zero, which means some value has been selected, only then do this, else do nothing. So by me making use of the powerful formal editor in RNSP Designer, I did not write a single line of code manually in .NET, rather I used everything available to me with all the tools in formal editor to achieve what I'm trying to do, or what my objective was. So now let's actually go back to my automobile table and we will now try to reopen the add automobile window to re to see whether the location field is showing me the error message and it should not be showing me the error message because we now have an if condition so if i click on add a new record as you can see my location field is totally empty i can select a make the default location from the make location table pops up i can basically change the text and at this point, I can save the record. Let me just pick up all the selected values. I just want to make sure that when I go back to my Ford Mustang that I just added, of course, uh, I did not put the location field. Uh, give me one second here. Let's just make sure we have the location label and location field 
already in the system so we can validate whether our changes did work so now I open up my record again and as you can see the location value is not what's coming in from the make table only the default value of the location was being picked up on the selection of the make so as you can see in this demonstration using the formula editor it gave me the power to make any kind of calculations based on other fields or a URL parameter or it could be any value as a source I can go and fetch data from other tables which are not even bound to this particular control Iron Speed Formula Editor is a very, very powerful tool. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you can see how Iron Speed Formula Editor should be viewed for almost every code customization which is possible. Keep watching for more videos and thank you for your time.